Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever you may be watching this. It is Reedy here, and welcome back to another video. We are still on the island of Quran. Our flight actually got canceled, so we have three or four more days here until we leave. So today we are heading to some of the most famous and iconic destinations here on the island. Let's go. As any great adventure should start, it's time to get some coffee. Thank you. The beans are secured. It's time to get to our tour guide office for our day of island hopping today. Let's go. We are here with experienced Quran traveling tours with my man Tom here, who is going to be our chauffeur and tour guide today with, and we're getting picked up with this trusty steed. Look at this bad boy. Ooh. So. Oh. Oh. You're gonna rent it from here again to the local area? Yeah. Yeah. Sana all. Morning. Good morning. What's your name, Kuya? Um, Renug. Ronald? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Reed. Nice to meet you. Alright. Reed. Reed, like a boat. We are on the boat, but we did grab a little snack at the cafe. The Ensaimada. Where May is doing a little taste test review here. Is it good? Yeah. Out of 10. Nine? Come on, that's a rookie score. Nine out of ten. Look at that bite. Wow. With lipstick on it. Mm. I heard it. Lipstick gives it extra flavor. That is really good, actually. Wow. Um. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll give it a good seven point five. That, that, that one's pretty good. I like that one. Have like. Yeah, I, I'm sure I got cheese all over me, right? Now we're ready for our island hopping adventure of today. Mm -hmm. It's time for ice cream at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Sir. Wow. What flavor do we get? Both? Avocado and cheese. I can say this is the most interesting breakfast I've ever had. Avocado and cheese flavored ice cream. It's good. Wow. That's actually surprisingly really good. I think I got most of the avocado though. Let's get the cheese. Wow. Wow, that's actually really good. And as you can hear, it looks like our boat is gassed up, engines on. Let's get island hopping. Nice time snorkeling there. We headed to the second beach, CYC Beach. Made a stop at the local 7 Eleven, aka Kuya here. For a nice little refreshing beer. Wow. Beers on the boat just hit different. They're, beers are 10 times more tasty when you're on the water. That's a fact. A man's best friend. Ooh, 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 I'm going in the water. Okay. Bye. 
road is getting slow. We need refill, baby. Oh, it needs more gas. We're empty. <laughs> Miss Gaffy, can you, can you provide me with a refill for this kayak? All right. We're gassing up. <laughs> there we go, we're gassed up. Ice candy. Ice candy. <laughs> you add. What a wonderful way to spend an afternoon here. It is so nice. However, we are sitting here in the shade because it is so hot today. But this island is just so beautiful. It's very nice and refreshing compared to some of the other tours that we've had this past week. There is like next to nobody here. Our first snorkeling spot, we were the only boat there, which has been a very different experience from what we've had this past week. So this is just an amazing way to spend the day. So far, this tour has been nothing but phenomenal. A nice little kayak around the island. And now time to just sit back, relax, enjoy this beautiful white sand beach before we head to our next destination today. Forgot to mention the ice candy. The ice candy was actually probably the highlight of this. Those things were absolutely phenomenal. And the 7-Eleven guy, he's got that energy that everybody needs. He's fired up today. He's making some sales. We might have given him the most business here today because we fell in love with those candies and his energy. Yeah. One more candy? <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we're I think we're due for another one before we get back on the boat because those things, especially the the mango one, that one uh, on the second round, that thing mm, hit the spot. Thank you. Ice candy. One thirty. One thirty plus the the beer. Two hundred. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kuya. All right. We love the Kuya's ice candy, so everybody's getting one. Huh? Thank you. Guys, oh. it's really good. <laughs> Got them for everyone. Thank you, sir, mom. Thank you. Bye, bye, Kuya. No, thank you. no, no, we got them for everybody. That's good. <laughs> thank you. They're really good. Thank you so much. No problem. What, what is it? Ice coconut? Uh, there's coconut and the orange one's mango. Okay. Ah, orange one's mango. Just save one mango one for me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. I like the coconut though. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, my man. No, no, we got them for everybody. Oh, They're going to melt. Like... All right. We got them for everybody thank on the you. boat. <laughs> Alright, it is time for lunch at one of the most beautiful locations yeah. I've ever seen. We are at the Green Lagoon, not too far from the Twin Lagoon that we visited just the other day. This feast looks quite a bit better than our last few lunches here on our tours. Let's eat. After an amazing lunch, we still have an hour here at the Green Lagoon, so we are getting on that kayak and getting the full immersive experience of this majestic beauty of a place here in Caron. This has been absolutely amazing so far. Uh, just look at this water. That is just unreal. I don't know why they call this the Green Lagoon because this is anything but green. It's crystal clear, absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to get in there because it is also so hot today. This is fantastic.
so far amazing. We basically have this whole room to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like it here is the birds chirping. The waves of you paddling the kayak. This is just, uh, this is what you think of when you think of the word paradise. Mm -hmm. Um, look at this, guys. We have this whole lagoon to ourselves. After our quick time here swimming in the lagoon here by ourselves, it is time to get back on this yak and get back to the boat for our last few destinations today. <laughs> We're in overdrive mode, I think. We might be late to get back to the boat. Look at this. ran into a little road bump. That road bump is wet because it is now raining and quite hard, but this place is still absolutely beautiful. We have two more stops left in our day today, so let's see if the rain will hold up enough so that we can admire the beauty of our last two spots of today. Ooh. Well, this is going a little different than expected. It is currently raining. And I guess you have to wear these life jackets. Somebody got hurt uh, a few years ago. So uh, life jackets and uh, some pouring rain for our next destination today. <laughs> you look so cute in your life jacket. I know, right? You should wear it more often. <laughs> no, they're supposed to go through your crotch. Uh. Bye bye. Hello. I'm cooked. <laughs> Maybe later. Lead the way, May. Lead the way. Wow. Well, guys, for this destination, we have about a 150 step up, uphill, and then we have about 200 steps down. To where we are actually heading here today. So it's time to get hiking. And we have arrived to our destination here of the day, the Kayangan Lake, which is known as the cleanest lake in the Philippines. This is actually a freshwater lake, even though we have been all around the ocean here today. But this is one of the most iconic and biggest attractions here in Caron. So it is time to get in and enjoy all of this in its fine beauty. <laughs> wow, that was absolutely beautiful. The water was so nice and crystal clear as well. But now we have a 300 step hike back up so that we can get to the boat before heading back to Peron Town. Let's go. To make the ending of our day extra special, we were even greeted by a local pod of Quran dolphins. Thank you, Kuya. 
Olivia. Bye bye, nice meeting you. Oh, this way. We have finally made it back to the hotel and all I have to say guys was today was phenomenal. This has been my favorite tour that we did. The whole time we have been here in Quran, it was very nice because everything was just as scenic. However, we avoided all of the crowds. There was next to no tourists and in each destination we got to spend at least an hour if not more which a lot of the other tours they are pushing you in and out of these locations which is just too hectic and you don't get to enjoy if you are here in Quran, please see tom at experience Quran travel and tours and stop in and give him a visit and give him some business because his tour was absolutely amazing and I loved it. He also just started this business only 1.5 months ago. So he is just starting, but he is doing a great job at what he is doing. I'll put all of his information in the description of this video. But if you did make it this far, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate that. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you see all of my content moving forward. And I will see you in the next video.